Hello, sweet souls. I pray that all is well with you. Today is August 1st, and it is 12.50 a.m. right now. So what is this message about spirit? A new dawn. The worst is now behind you. So expect new experiences. New positive experiences are coming your way. Yeah, time to move on. And then we have all is well. Babies are beings from the non-physical externally coming forth for the creation of that which they desire. The babies are wanting you to know that all is well. This could be this is my angel baby card. Is something about moving on? And it being well. So I don't know if it's like moving on from something that's beneath you or what. But let me see. Okay, and we have books. Reading books could be significant. Okay. Um, you guys could be writing a book. We have children, a children's book. Well-being is your natural state of being. Reach for the feelings of well-being first and everything else will fall into place. So whatever it is that you're having to move on from, allow it. Okay, we have affirmations in the morning saying affirmations okay playtime all is well But it's also given me that if you were like being pushed in a direction to move, to leave, to remove yourself, then definitely do that. And knowing that whatever bullshit that came along with that is something new, something better coming. Give me clarity on this reading, please. We have the past. Time to move on from the past. We have apology. Apologizing to yourself for something that you may have stayed in longer than you necessarily needed to. That um, remorseful feeling, that's what I was okay so before i started recording i was thinking of like how disgusted i was by the motherfuckers that i dealt with that i literally made long-term decisions with and it eventually turned out to me being the only one so say for instance with parenting you ideally is both parents but if you have to say, fuck it, I'd rather suffer and do this shit on my own. The worst is now behind you. Expect something new. Yeah, because someone could be avoiding taking care of their motherfucking children. Masculine and soul ties. So yeah, this is someone that you have children with. 
And yeah, guilty. I told you I was getting that, getting that fucking thought of having, like, feeling guilt for being connected to a motherfucker. Playing, being in a good spirit and good energy is what's going to get that off of you. Okay? It's going to get that low vibrating energy off. Okay? We have detached. And then we have expressing yourself with your affirmations in the morning. Detaching from whatever that the worst that is behind you now. Yeah. And being open to receiving the positive new experiences. Okay. We have receiving unity. Receiving transcendence. Receiving balance is what it's giving me. Detaching from a union. Detaching from, like I said, someone you thought that it would be balanced with, but then turns out that it's not. Okay, we have deception and guilt for deceiving yourself, but that fell right on top of playtime. So it's like letting that shit go. Don't get stuck in the guilt of, oh my God, look at this bullshit I dealt with because this is all a part of healing your inner child. Okay, you dealt with certain shit because your inner child was not yet healed, but now you have healed or you are healing then like that's a part of the healing process that we don't talk about much okay dealing with people that ain't really there for you that's that's not equally yoked someone could also be avoiding killing their inner child as well yeah a masculine that you have some sort of commitment with and what i said solid foundation but it's not solid Okay, what's going on? And we have closed off. So yeah, apologizing to yourself for dealing with people that were closed off to you, to the idea of longevity. And reaching for a feeling that feels good so that everything else can fall into place for you. see closed off done with those cycles and then we have remembering so someone is remembering who the fuck they are and that's why it's time to move on or someone did remember who the fuck they are and that was why they moved on again take it however
Neptune. Someone could be apologizing for causing some confusion. Or you, again, apologizing to yourself. Trust in divine timing for chemistry. For you to have someone that you share chemistry with. Expressing regret, change, and then we have autumn. Changing and then reaping the rewards from the changes that you have made. Yep, shit being brought to balance. Whatever this deception is. Okay, and then yeah. Growth and transformation fell right on top of the cycles. Being done with some shit growing throughout a transformation. So again, it's like just be happy that you are like no longer settling and dealing with the fuck shit. Okay, I don't know what the fuck this is about, but it... I feel you. <laughs> This is a part of the game that not many people speak on when it comes to this healing journey. Somebody don't communicate properly. Someone's a sneakerhead. Someone like shoes. With a real man, you don't have to ask because they already know by paying attention to you. They are, You literally don't have to tell them anything. You don't have to ask them anything because at the end of the day, they are so fucking locked in that they already literally know everything. They know what the fuck you want to eat. They already know what type of motherfucking... Um, what the children need they know what the house need they know what bills you know that sort of shit they already know not saying that you motherfuckers gotta read minds but you actually showing interest in a fucking union versus someone that's being detached from a union that's not even giving a fuck they're acting cold This glow up is going to be very personal for someone or it is very personal for someone okay what's going on sticking around for the benefits but someone's bad at love bad at love they don't communicate properly
Know that the universe is going to bring the right people at the right time. Don't allow anything to break your focus. Someone could have bought some shoes online or someone made a purchase on your website. Okay, what's going on? Look, you can tell when you've grown. This is definitely giving me like growing pains from a fucking trauma bond relationship. Someone getting angry. So, and like leaving so that they can go and be with somebody else. Again, someone is bad at love. Someone gets angry and they don't talk. They'll be motherfucking ready to manipulate a motherfucker, bully a motherfucker, whatever. Yeah, somebody need to learn how to communicate. Someone could be asking. Hell, y'all motherfuckers probably need a book to got down. Or somebody mama need to be teaching them how to motherfucking communicate properly. Okay. Take it however. Reading a book that's talking about communication. Yeah. About emotions hitting parts of your personality, your instincts, unconscious. We have moon. The moon. It's also a full moon today. You could be giving someone the benefit of the doubt. It's like when you apply pressure or when you start to question or want to talk to a motherfucker, then they start getting aggressive, manipulating, gaslighting and shit. Okay. Very emotional. Sticking around for the benefits because they were able to live their best life. Giving the benefit of the doubt. Giving the benefit of the doubt. Don't send your people with people. Don't send your children or your child around people who don't like you. Don't even give these motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt. And don't try to stick around for any fucking benefits. Just go and live your best fucking life.
What's going on with this? It's a lot of emotions here. I'll say that. There's also a new romance. So don't stick around. Do the total fucking opposite of sticking around, giving a motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. Okay? Some, a loved one. So someone can have a child that has passed over. Or this is someone that has passed over that is here, like, comforting you. You guys could be seeing spirit animals. And that is because you're being visited by someone that is passed over. So, Beck. That is here to cancel out the the evil attacks. Imagine going to a motherfucker and you like, look, yo dude cheating with, you know, like approaching the other person. Okay, so say for instance, it's a female. Okay, so it's two people and they both got a partner. So you and your person together and then the third party got a person. Now imagine you going to the third party's person and telling them like, look, X, Y, and Z is going on. They doing X, Y, and Z and then the motherfuckers respond back like yeah i know we all like they swinging they all fucking each other type shit like it's some crazy shit i don't know but uh -uh. someone's spouse A widow, a spouse that passed over, or a mom, someone's mom really likes someone, know your worth, someone's mom or someone's stepmom likes somebody, a widow. Okay, we have video chat. All I do is win. Yeah, somebody living their best life. Okay, we have a Scion, Maserati, Range Rover, or Land Rover. Vehicle to a Scion could be significant. Or a Range Rover. Okay, I got Honda. We got 48 through 58. Heavy on their faith. Feeling defeated and you shouldn't be. You could be video chatting with someone. <clears throat> Someone could be crying. And you shouldn't. Let me show you 
how a real person, how a real man, how a real woman is supposed to treat you. Yeah, because there was a leader that didn't know where the fuck they was going. Okay, have plenty of evidence to rest your case. Shapeshifters. So definitely um, seeing like dragonflies, um, butterflies. Someone could be drunk and they calling, crying. Daddy's girl, it's okay to cry, but make sure that your morals and your spirit is up high or that you're able to keep your spirits high. Your next relationship will be absolutely the bomb. Letting go will teach you something That just being still won't teach you. Okay. Someone does definitely lack discipline. And they're trying to change them their outside, but it don't mean shit because you're still a fucked up ass person. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, merch is coming, so you guys could have ordered something. You can change your looks on the outside, but if you fucked up on the inside, then you goddamn fucked up. And that's just all it is. Don't motherfucking chase nobody. Don't be trying to make shit work. Okay, be confident in yourself. Late night conversations. You are more than enough. You are good regardless if you have someone or not. Now let's see what's going on with mom or stepmom. Let's see which one is this, mom or stepmom. This is stepmom. Manipulative, poor communication. And then we have compromising. Queen of Swords could be significant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, we have here and now someone could be soul searching, being confident in yourself, contemplating. Someone is not chasing a union. They're allowing it to come to them. Yeah, see? This merch could be for a family, a family member. Burnt out from being manipulated. Experiencing unwelcome changes.
burnt out focusing on the losses so definitely keep your energy together someone could be trying to manipulate your happiness now that I look at it New beginnings, inheritance, family, security, powerful movement. The Scorpio energy here. What's going on with this new beginning, this transformation? Being persistent. Your hard work paying off. What's going on with this Ten of Coins? This family, family inheritance, family security, financial security. Okay. Ten of Coins. Clarity on Ten of Coins. Inheritance, financial security, and family. Someone could be like doing too motherfucking much. Okay. Somebody could be partying with a Capricorn. Indulging. We got indulging here twice. Recklessly indulging though. Meditate on overcoming whatever this is and having control. Mustering up courage is what I just heard. Okay. Someone's mother is corrupt as a motherfucker. Or somebody's going to their mother about some injustice, some corruption, a mother lack accountability. Releasing a mother. Surrendering to the unjust, the whatever the corruption is. Is what leads to burnout. So definitely take charge. There's rapid changes. And someone was definitely being reckless. Lead with your heart and overcome grief. Whoever this is that's being reckless. They're going to have to surrender. What else is going on here? We have Hamilton, Deadline, Handshake, Termite, Bucket, and Spade. Artist, Chicken Drumstick, Slide into Home, Plated Skirt, and Stranger Things. The morning is very significant. Pull yourself together. His loss. Okay, someone black. Speaking affirmations of I am or I know.
Okay, we have woman. His woman. Okay, four days is significant. Four days. Four days, four hours, four. What's going on with four? Damn. Damn. Okay, we have flies here. Hi. If somebody is like pregnant right now and expecting to have a baby, they could be dilated to four. Sailor Moon, Maze, and Notebook. Four. Four. Mother clearly seeing, um, accepting yourself, your community celebrating, and whatever this corrupt shit is, somebody gonna have to, oh, I didn't even see this. Yeah, somebody been doing like confusion spells. Dots or stains, stains or spots. Shit. Snakes in the grass. Fairy godmothers. Mississippi River, barbed wire, limp, Monday night football, and extension cord. Heartbreak Hotel, racing bike. Plug, Sheriff, Lemon. Candlestick, Bridesmaids, Arm Wrestle, Sheet Music, and The Doors. Could all be significant. Now let's see what's going on here. Thank you. Toil and labor, distant horizon. So if you were going through toil and labor and bullshit, then expect to be moving from this. Time to move from the toil and labor. Distant horizon, what can they expect? Okay, distant horizon. You were dealing with a false person. That's why there was turmoil and labor and it's time to go. Perfect timing. Trusting in the message. Perfect timing about some message or about some sort of letter. And then we have trust in divine timing. Something about a message here. A letter, a message. What is this? Listen, wedding, 
thoughts, message of concern, concern, engagement. Your thoughts, making sure that you keep your thoughts together. Listen pertaining to a wedding or about a marriage. Concerns about engagement. So, like I said, somebody was married and then another motherfucker was possibly even fucking engaged. And somebody is swingers or some shit like that. Look, thief retreat from marriage. Make the effort in your marriage. A concern, engaged, like someone trying to steal a person or some shit like that. Someone could have left their marriage and went to the other people, the other person child it's like someone a concern is someone trying to take something that's yours type shit like let's make it make sense okay definitely keep your energy grounded and we have freeing yourself Retreat, pull back, gain your motherfucking composure, freeing yourself from a marriage. <clears throat> okay, love yourself first. Pay attention to the red flags about a marriage. We have Cupid. Free yourself from the bullshit. Love yourself first. And then that's when the love comes in. Getting to know each other. Pay attention to the red flags and marriage. So somebody is already in this motherfucking connection or some shit like that. Gotcha. The ocean, this is definitely giving me the energy of balancing out your energy. Listening to water, to rain. Okay, we have lovers. Someone that you can have a family with. Someone could be in bad health. Oh, a marriage is in bad health. Someone is needing to listen and to make the efforts. Being assertive with your thoughts, not allowing them to go all over the place, okay? Not being in despair. Not dealing with motherfuckers that will have you in despair. Yeah, somebody going through a separation, having an epiphany, female earth sign, and messages. Communication. Okay, the twin flame tactic was to help you release your shadow side to deuce or dis twin flame this is what they need to do whatever take it however but that's what the twin flame does anyways is they help awaken you okay communicating with a twin flame
Tactics Earth Sign. Films releasing. There could have been a separation unexpectedly. And we have this dark night of the soul in order to help renew the spark within someone's life in the present moment. So that they can get onto their north node. That I told you that's just how this shit go. Fulfillment, stability, harmony, flow. And then we have springtime. Whatever seeds you're planting, that's what you grow. Opportunity for harmony, for flow, and for stability is definitely in your future. So, who is this other sign? You're being strengthened by some divine intervention. So, it's like the back, the worst part is already behind you, honey. Just keep going, keep going, keep swimming, keep swimming, keep swimming. Okay, we have an air sign. Memories, limitation, thoughts, seeking external validation, remembering someone seeking external validation, don't allow your thoughts to limit you, okay, and we have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, what's going on with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? toxic and bound the toxic memories instead of searching externally focusing in on yourself self care and self worth Someone made a decision to not show any compassion and to listen to their ego and to retreat. We have water sign, attraction, attracting gifts and abundance and celebrations. Yeah, it's giving me like if you was feeling bad about some shit. Your higher self is like, nah, baby, pick that motherfucking head up. I don't know what you thought, but no. Uh, okay. It's a motherfucking rebirth. You a whole brand new bitch. Bitch, I'm busting. <laughs> okay, there could be a rebirth in some union, though, seriously. But I'm going to play that song because I am just so curious to hear it. Y'all forgive me. I'm supposed to be doing this reading. Not sitting here eating no damn sunflower seeds. But if you know me, then you know.
Okay. Tay Money Bussin is the song. If Drew didn't film it, then it ain't film right. Devil's Island, Ear Muffins, Button Your Lips, Fast Food, and Adventure Time. Bitch, I'm blessing. Brand new bitch. Bitch, I'm blessing. Bitch, I'm blessing. Bitch, I'm busting. Bitch, I'm busting. Bitch, I'm busting.